Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another haul video. Yes guys, long time no see. I know it's been quite a while since I've done um, a video. And I'm sorry for this one because honestly it's very small. It's like probably not even worth really doing a video on because this haul is so small. And it actually includes items from both March and April 2019. But um, I figure, hey, why not? They both got here kind of late anyway, and they were so small separately on their own. I figured, let me just combine it and just do a tiny haul for you guys today. So I'm going to do that. And like I said, I just want to apologize for just taking so long to put anything else out. Um, as you guys know, I haven't been really receiving many items lately, especially from Ami Ami. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but the last few One Fest that um, we've seen, it hasn't really been that many items that I've really been excited about, at least not enough to buy. Um, I don't know if you guys keep up with like Winter One Fest, Summer One Fest, where they preview items coming out. Um, it mostly kind of revolves around like Fate Grand Order and things like that all stuff that I, I like but I'm not really into so I haven't really been ordering many things but yeah guys so let me just few, show you the few items that I got starting with what I received in March and first thing up is just this little My Hero Academia tin featuring uh, little candy drops yeah I don't even know what kind of candy didn't really care about that you guys know that I've been so obsessed with my hero academia lately that any of the items I can get I kind of just have gone for that so I saw this tin thought it was really cute and figured I might as well get some candy as well so here we have a little Todoroki on the front he's so cute I love him as well as Midoriya up here Bakugo, Uraraka and Sue yeah, so all of them are really, really cool. Love all of these characters. But like I said, Midoriya and Todoroki are my two favorites. So there they are. Um, just turning to the side, you see other than that, the tin is pretty plain. It kind of reminds me of one of those old Band-Aid tins, actually. And Nami has it wrapped up in plastic. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, so just a plain tin. But I do love the design on the front. And it didn't cost very much at all, so... Okay, is. guys, and next item up also with the My Hero Academia theme is this pencil board. Now, if you guys saw my last haul video, you'll recall that I received another pencil board then. Um, but because I like both designs, I could not make up my mind of which one I wanted and end up ordering this one as well. I kind of forgot about it, actually. But yeah, really cute design. As you can see here, some of the members of Class 1A on the front. And as you can see, they're animated kind of looking almost like the pinch straps that we sometimes get from Ami Ami or like um, little plushies also. So really cool design overall and it has some of my favorite characters on front like Deku and Todoroki and Uraraka right there so really cute and for those who don't uh, know what a pencil board is it's just like something simple um, that some in Japan use kind of to slip between sheets of paper so that their pen or like a marker won't um, leak through or mark up the pages below it like I said, very simple function, but love the design and it's pretty useful if you, you know, if you need those things. So pretty cool. And like I said, this one is basically the same size as the last one I got, um, except that this one feels slightly thicker. And I was wondering if it was because maybe there are two of them stuck together, which I don't know. I don't think so. It feels like it's just one, at least when I try to peel it apart. However, on the back. You can see the design also features some of the villains. So you have my favorite villain here, which is Toga. She's amazing and crazy, but yeah. Um, Shigaraki and Dobby right here. So overall, really cool design. And you can see why I couldn't make up my mind between this one and the one I ordered in the last haul. So really love this, guys. Okay, guys. And next item up for March, also from Ami Ami, I got this I select. Powerpuff Girls iPhone 10 phone case. Yeah, that was a mouthful for that one. So as you can see, really cute designs of the newer Powerpuff Girls cartoon from Cartoon Network. I kind of like the old ones more. Um, but I do love this cute design. I do like the Powerpuff Girls. You see this one features Donnie right here at the bottom, as well as um, Buttercup, Blossom, and... Uh, bubbles yeah i could not get her name out but really cute design overall now i did not need another uh phone case yeah i just have so many um however i wanted to test out this i select one i always see these often but they sell out kind of often on um, ami ami 
um, but it's supposed to have like an internal card pocket on it as well um, anti-shock and it's kind of like not quite hybrid glass or whatever they want to call the case so it should be a little bit stronger hopefully but it seems much bigger than my actual phone so hopefully I mean it says iPhone 10 there hopefully I picked the right one but I just was really tempted to try the case out and when I saw the cute Powerpuff design I figured why not go for it and check it out so here it is on the front and on the back just kind of gives you can you guys see without the glare um, just the internal view of the case and it has little instructions about how to put it on but all in all seems to be pretty sturdy and seems like it'll keep my phone really safe and like I said the design is really cute so there it is okay and now on to the next item but before I do guys I just want to apologize for it being so dim in the background it's really stormy outside right now so despite all the lights I have it's very dark and dreary and it's just casting dark shadows everywhere so I apologize for that guys I was seeing in the background seems a little bit dim to me so hopefully it's not too bad on while you're watching the video but uh, anyway as for my last item for March, this one actually isn't from Amiyami at all. This one, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the card game Unstable Unicorns. I first became aware of them um, when they first were kickstarting that project uh, through the company Tea Turtle. Um, if you guys are familiar with that website or having seen them at different conventions. Um, but I did not back it then, even though I later saw the product at like GameStop and all those other places and thought it was still pretty cool. So for the second go round, when they decided to do a Kickstarter exclusive standalone set, um, I decided to back that. And that is what I finally received. So what I have here is the Unstable Unicorns Chaos version of the set. Now the whole set was done kind of like a light versus dark kind of thing. And in this instance, instance, it was called Control versus Chaos. I couldn't make up my mind which one I wanted. But at the end, I decided to go with the darker version for the chaos because I just thought that these unicorns look so cool the way the art was on that. So, yeah, here it is, guys. And I haven't opened it yet. I kind of just kept it fresh in the plastic waiting to do this video. Um, but just from the box alone, you can see how cool everything looks like the gold foil on top of the black chaos. And I believe this is a magnetic closure on this box. But other than that, you can kind of see on the back, make new friends, destroy them, unicorns forever. Everything I love. I love unicorns. Love things like this. So decided to back this one. And I'm pretty happy I did. Like I said, even though I have not checked out the full cards yet. Um, but also part of getting the Kickstarter exclusive set, all the backers received um, this enamel pin for their set. So I got this one, as you can kind of see. With the dark unicorn on there really cool it's a little hard to see with the glare from the light guys so i apologize for that but it's a cool pin nonetheless so pretty happy with them overall i know that they're kickstarting a new game at the moment and i've already kind of backed that one for now um called runes and regulations something like that yeah. okay guys so here is the box and like i said a magnetic flip closure you can see the magnets um here is the book rule book gotta look at that to figure that one out and let's see what else is in here <gasps> how cool is that the nightmare unicorn so cool this full edition card I love it already guys it's really cool just this whole card right here is just amazing and you have the standard animals like this raccoon unicorn. How adorable is that? Really cool. Here's what the back looks like for each of the cards. Let me see about getting this one open. Oh, okay, so I just took the plastic briefly off this pack just to kind of give you guys a glimpse of the cards. Um, I don't think you can kind of read it on camera, but it says raccoon unicorn. One unicorn's trash is another raccoon unicorn's hat. So pretty cute. Oh, suburban data corn. We have a weenie corn, aww. We have a red panda corn, a tech supporter corn, <laughs> corn of the cob. Let's see what else is in here. Unicorn tourist, Valkyrie, a unicorn of foreboding doom. How cool is that one? The epic level unicorn. Oh, so cool. Unicorn of misfortune. Oh, I love this manticore unicorn. So, really cool cards. Love all of these, really cool. Sniper, 
mana yeah so cool really cute and like I said here was the the back of these now for the other side remember they had the full corn card on it um, when I flipped it over on the back these are white so I'm not sure what the difference between these cards so that's why I just kind of keeping them separate um, but oh so cool look at that all of it's really really cute love all of these so yeah overall I'm really happy with this set can't wait to try out the game and give it play it a few rounds of it and see how it goes but even just with the card art I'm very happy with that so yeah guys really cool okay guys so only two items left and these two came from my April Ami Ami box like I said not big at all but first item up we have is this Koro Koro Aniki comic magazine now this I actually just purchased on a whim actually um as I believe it was going to include like a card for the upcoming set of like Magic the Gathering War of the Spark. Um, you guys know I recently got into that. So I know I think it believe comes with one of the exclusive cards and something else. And so when I saw it pop up on Amiami on a whim, I decided, hey, let me just add it to my cart. My order was already ready to go. Um, so I added that on at the last minute, figuring for the card as well as just the book itself it looks pretty interesting okay so you can see here are the inserts for the book um some extra cards here and there this looks like a little game card there this with the Raymond on this side another card this one thing I really love about like Japanese magazines is that they come with so many extras not just like the standard book which I really love I mean you're gonna read the magazine anyway but it's always nice to have a little something extra on top right so yeah pretty cool love some of the artwork already maybe I can practice some reading to try to figure out what everything is going on in some of these but a uh, pretty cool book nonetheless plus like I said I basically purchased this one on a whim figuring that huh, even if I did the price would be 10 times more cheaper getting it from Ami Ami than if um, I waited till it was imported over here um, because then since it is an import that is usually when the price goes up so here's Kirby are these stickers oh that's so cute I didn't realize those was in there so overall really cute book wasn't sure what to expect from it but Overall, I'm liking what I'm seeing, so there it is. Okay, and for those who cared about what some of the inserts were from the pack, I believe this is from Girls on Panzer, so really cute little postcard. This one as well. Hopefully you guys can see the artwork very well. This is kind of like a pencil drawing kind of of it, of this card. It looks really weird, actually, with the faces, so yeah, very, very strange art. But there it is. Uh, let's see what else is in here. This card and this one. Can you guys see? As well as what's on this side? Getting a Doraemon. Aha! And this is the magic card I was talking about. Can you guys see the detail on it? That is. Liliana and it's a foil Japanese version of the card cast down now don't ask me what all that means because I just don't know <laughs> this is what I heard but yeah pretty cool card I just wish you guys could see it clearer on my camera for some reason my camera just does not want to focus correctly today so but really cool love that Liliana is one of my favorite characters anyway for magic so ha ah. so pretty cool card overall but everything else from here is cool as well Wish I knew who this character was because he looks so funny. If anyone knows, please comment down below. Ah, this is from Duel Masters. And this is from Buddy Fight. Not sure I know about them. But, yeah, really cool. And like I said, a few more things stuck in here, but I really couldn't get those out. So, oh, it's like a file. Like one of those small clear files. Ah, so pretty cool. You can put a lot of things in here. So yeah guys, there is that. Okay guys, and for my final haul item this go around, and we have Nendoroid number 991 Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach. 
Guys, I th believe I mentioned this before. I love bleach and I was completely surprised when Good Smile Company announced that they finally were going to make Nendoroids from it. Well, at least this Nendoroid so far. So, of course, I had to get it. So cool, even though it, uh, item-wise, accessory-wise, that's included with Ichigo is kind of on the minimal side. Um, but at least he does have cone, which is cute. So cute cone and Ichigo together. However, we really would have loved his hollow mask. Really wish they included that as well. But just on its own, I never thought I'd see the day that Bleach would finally get an Android. So yeah, needless to say, I'm pretty excited. Now as for the box on the outside, it looks slightly weird. You can see they did this weird design thing, I guess because it's Bleach. But at first, just first glance, looking at the top of the box, it looked almost as if the box was um, damaged. But then you see that this design pattern, like this faded white, is kind of comes all the way down the front and to the bottom as well. But just pretty odd. I mean, I guess you can kind of see like the tattered pattern to it. But yeah, pretty odd design choice on this box, but pretty cool. Um, also, you can see here kind of that mine is slightly damaged out of the box from Ami Ami. I don't know if that happened during packaging or it getting jostled around in shipping or what. So that's slightly disappointing. But hey, it's Ichigo and he looks really, really cool here. As you can see, there's his sword in the back. I can't think of the name right now, so I won't say it. A um, little hard to see him through all the plastic, but pretty cool nonetheless. So yeah, like I said, you guys saw him from the top what he looks like from this side minimal posing this side and on the back so like I said already you can tell just from the simple poses that like he really doesn't come with as many accessories that's kind of been the trend lately with good small company and also another reason of why I haven't been purchasing so much just because since they haven't been including so much but the prices have kind of been higher I've kind of been hesitant and extra picky about what I get um, from them but that said, like I said, I've been waiting a really long time for any kind of merchandise for Bleach. And I'm wondering if they made this because that Netflix live action movie was out. Um, not sure if that was the catalyst for it or anything. But just really happy I finally got me an inch ago. So hopefully, maybe one day I can see Arukia as well as Yurihime. Because Yurihime is my favorite character from the series. Love her. Um... So hopefully we can see some of them show up as well. So here it is, guys. Let me know what you think of my haul in the comments below. Like I said, not very much to show you. Kind of bland overall, but a decent few items. So like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that normal YouTube-ness that you do. Um, and hopefully we'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.